Hey, it's your favorite science teacher. Uh, how are you today? You miss me? Oh, probably not. Uh, I'm calm, just give you a heads up. I got some work for you to do. And um, uh, the thing I'm more going over today is I wanna go over your biology notebook and make sure your notebook is in order. So just giving you a, a notebook check to help you get your notebook because we're gonna have our notebook test this week. All right, and so uh, without further ado, let me share my screen. All right, and these are kind of the purpose, the purposes I wanted to do. I wanna review the order, the table contents. I wanna review the pages in the notebook and how the notebook test will go, okay? So those are the things I wanna go over with you right now, okay? All right, uh, so let's start off right here. Here's our biology notebook. All right, here, here's our table of contents. And uh, your notebook test won't start from the very beginning for this sem from this semester. It'll start from the beginning of this nine weeks. And so I am saying that you have to pick up on page 32. All right, whoops, that's just a warning for me about something else here. All right, and so on page 32 is your first thing, and it says ACT practice passage on enzymes, L13, it's lesson 13. Um, it also, so you're gonna do from 32 all the way to today's present page, which is 55, which I'm about to show you. All right, and so that's that assignment here. Um, that was on page 32. 33 is the macromolecules in general notes. Uh, that's lesson 14. Um, page 34 is the bell ringer before macromolecules activity. That's lesson 14 also. Another thing that should be on the, on the um, notebook test is gonna be uh, the syllabus. So make sure you have your syllabus. That's in lesson one. All right, that's the only thing that I expect you to have, especially from first semester. But the other stuff is probably still in your notebook, so that's okay. Page 35 is the ACT practice on succession. 36 is your macromolecules article that you were studying here. That's also, I believe that's around lesson 15. These are all lesson 15 area. Uh, notes on macromolecules, lesson 15. Macromolecule structure, pictures, and, and stuff, that's lesson 15. Macromolecule practice, lesson 15. Notes on enzymes, lesson 17. Enzyme practice worksheet, lesson 18. Cells and microscope notes, lesson 20. Two paragraphs on microscopes, lesson 20. Uh, parts on how to use the micros, parts and how to use the microscopes. That's lesson 20. Pictures of onion and cheek cells. That's lesson 20. Uh, picture uh, review sheet, um, enzymes and microscopes. That's a review sheet, lesson 21. ACT practice, antibiotics, lesson 23. Bell ringer for eukaryotes and prokaryotes. That's lesson 24. Graphic organizer for eukaryotes and prokaryotes. That's lesson 24. Two paragraphs on prokaryotes and eukaryotes. That's lesson 24. And if you're virtual, you actually probably have two of those paragraphs and stuff because uh, we did a reading activity in class and I checked their comprehension uh, to see if they comprehended it and you didn't get to, I didn't get to check your comprehension. So I made you just do an extra paragraph. Uh, just show me that you understood it. Uh, draw, and next one is the notes sheet from web page. It's the note sheet on the organelles. That's lesson 25. Draw and label plant and animal cells and bacteria cells. That's lesson 26. Worksheet on the organelles. Lesson 26. Worksheets on the differences between animal and plant cells and eukaryotes and prokaryotes. That's lesson 26. Study guide, part one for exam, lesson 27. And so those are the pages on here. And so those lesson numbers are actually very important. You're gonna really need that for your uh, notebook test here. Now, um, let me go over the latest 
stuff on how I, again, I'm still doing this virtually here. The things that I'm doing done latest right here. And it says notes on organelles from website. That was from lesson, notes on organelles from website is lesson 25. And I printed it out, but you didn't have to print it out. You can just write, you can, again, I printed it out and you could have it typed and done that, or you could do this. You could wrote uh, in lesson 25, okay? Again, this helps you stay in order here. All right, next thing here is there was a drawing that you had to do of animal, plant, and bacteria cells, all right? And he says, well, I didn't print it out. Well, that's fine. You could have just said, you didn't have to print out or have, you, may, you should have drawn it out on a sheet of paper. This is where you would stick it here. Stick it here. All right, and this you could say in lesson 26. In lesson 26, okay? And so you didn't have to print it out. All right, the next one here, it says, Organelles review sheets, and here's what they looked like. They kind of were like this, and they were like this. You said, well, again, I didn't print it out. Well, you could say, you could tell where it's located in lesson 26, and you could write done virtually, and that's fine, okay? Um, and then here's the next one. This is, it says worksheet on eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Say so again, I, I didn't print it out. You could say done virtually in lesson 26. All right, the next thing you can see here is the exam study guide. All right, the exam study guide. All right, and he says, again, I did not print it out. In fact, actually, this one you would have to do on a sheet of paper. I think I have this is uh, one of those things you're going to have to do on a sheet of paper. All right. And you're going to, again, you're supposed to do it on a sheet of paper and you'd put it in here. Okay. I believe that. Let me double check. Yeah. It says, um, it says that, yes, you're supposed to write these on a sheet of paper. So when we get to that, you need to make sure you write it on a sheet of paper. I printed it out. You could print it out and write on the, on the sheet if you want. Uh, but again, you could say, again, this is where you'd put that sheet right here. And that's on page 55, okay? Um, anyways, that's how this is going. I need you to get your notebook in order. And then again, you say, well, I don't know if I, what this sheet goes to, okay? Well, you could say, cause some of you have notebooks that have these things where you have all these papers in here and there, there's so many papers and it's just like all over all right um what i would tell you to do is i'd get all the papers that are from my class and put them out on a nice um and put them out together and go through all the lessons especially from lesson 13 all the way up to today's present day and try to label and see hey does this what sheet does this go to what sheet does this go to and find it uh, so that you know the name of it, because the thing that's going to count the most is having this name. You've got to know this name, because I'm going to say in the macromolecules in general notes, what was the second blank? I'm like, yeah. you know, you're not going to know that answer unless you have your stuff in order. That's why it's a notebook test. All right. That's why it's a notebook test. So you need to put your stuff in order. So put, go through from page 30. I believe, or 32, and put your stuff in order. And that's why I said put it in the page numbers here. And so, so you can actually, so you know what everything goes. And then, when, oh, it's easy. Because I'm going to go by these names and stuff like that on the, on the test. So let me give you an example of how this is going to go about. All right. Um, hold on, I'll pause for a second. Here we go. How, this is how this is going to go. Um, when you get in here, you're going to, um, you're going to, uh, you're going to see, you're going to get into your class and you're going to go to the notebook and, or whatever the test is, it's going to have the notebook test. And when you click on the notebook, it's going to say, all right, here, and this is the old notebook test. So I'm going to give you an example of it. 
And then I'm, I'm signed in as my son and so that you can see what it's supposed to look like here. All right, and so it's gonna click on here and it's gonna say, okay, notebook test. Are you ready to make, you may only make one attempt, that's fine. It's gonna be a time test. And so you don't have all day, you can't go like figure out everything here. This is in, on the biology syllabus. What did it say the purpose of, the, of this class? You say, well, I don't remember what it said the purpose of the class was. I don't remember what it said. And so you say, okay, well, what you can do is what I tell you to do is I'd say, open up a, another tab, all right? Go into Schoology, all right? And go on, log into biology. And if you remember in the syllabus, the syllabus is on lesson one. So I can, I can either turn to, and it's in page eight for me. So I can say, here's lesson one, page eight. Let me get to page eight, there she is. Uh, here it is, lesson one, here's the syllabus. Page A, he said the purpose of this class. And the purpose of this class is to learn the basics of biology. All right. And so we're going to, that's what we would say. We go back and uh, we go back. And I pull this back up here. I'd write to learn the basics of biology. All right. And I got that. That's the next question. This is in the notes for the nature of science, what was needed to prove a theory on number two, letter I? I don't know, that's the purpose. You're not supposed to know everything that I'm gonna have in these notebook tests. The whole purpose of these notebook tests is are you doing your notes? Are you doing all your assignments? And are you keeping it in half order? All right, that's the whole purpose of the notebook test. If you're doing all that, it should help. All right, and so, all right, so you would say, okay, um, this is the notes for the nature of science. So I'm gonna pull back up my deal here. I'm gonna look for notes for the nature of science. This is in lesson three. Uh, and so notes for the nature of science. So I'm gonna go back over here and I can, oops, I'm gonna stay back over here. So I'm gonna look at, this is on page 14. I mean, I think, what do they say it was? I think it says, what is needed to prove, to prove a theory, here it is, it's on the back. All right, to prove a theory, you must have a lot of experimentation and observation that support it, it's right here. To prove a theory, you must have a lot of experimentation and observation to support it. And so I'm gonna go back You must have a lot of observation and experimentation to support it. All right, I'm done with that one. Next one. And so you kind of work like that. And you say, oh, well, again, this is usually, I don't print this stuff out. Well, that's fine. You don't have to. You could do this as a virtual student. And so if I go back to that first question, and says, what is the, what is uh, on biology? What did I say the purpose of this class is? You have your note, you should have your um, table of contents. So we can look at our table of contents. This is in lesson one. So I'm going to go to lesson one. Lesson one of Schoology. Lesson one, here she is. This is that, here's the biology syllabus. All right, the purpose of this class is to learn the basics of biology. It's all there. She said, well, okay, that for that one, let me go to, what about the other one? Well, the second question does, does the same thing. In the notes for the nature of science, what was needed to prove a theory on number two of letter I? Okay, all right, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm gonna to go to, I gotta look at my table of contents. This is why the table of contents is so important. 
Um, nature science notes, and that's in lesson three. So I can go back to this. I'm gonna to go to lesson three. And in lesson three, all right, I'm gonna go here, lesson three. All right. Ooh. Notes, define the words and answer the questions. Ooh, uh, let me get that fix out of here. I should be. I'm sorry, I wrote the wrong lesson on that one. I apologize. That's lesson four. Again, it shouldn't be an issue with any of that. If there is, I'm going to be cautious and checking with you and giving you every benefit of the doubt. But here's lesson more. Here's the notes. So I click on it. I look at my document. All right, it says I can't submit it. The due date is passed, but I can go to I2. I too, to prove a theory, ba 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 ba. It's straight up, do your work. If you've done your work and you put it in order and you got that table of contents page, you're gonna be straight up, you'll be fine. But if you haven't done it, it's gonna suck. All right, and so hopefully you've done all your work and stuff. If you haven't, it's gonna be, not gonna be as fun. All right, and so that's what we're trying to emphasize. Um, Can you think for a second here? So again, as a conclusion, what you're gonna do is, again, make sure your notebook is in order. And if you are one of those people that have your notebook in a mess, take all those papers out and go through the lessons. And I've already told you, it starts at lesson 13. And so you go back and you say, okay, I'm gonna go to lesson 13, all right? Lesson 13, let's go, I don't have the lesson 13 there. Up oh, there's lesson 13. All right, what are all the assignments that we have to do? ACT enzymes, okay? And you can see what that looks like. You say, well, I don't know what that looks like, but here's what the enzymes looks like. Boom, this is what enzymes look like. Okay, all right, I got it. See what you got, okay? And then make sure you put that on that page. And then you say, okay, well, what's, what's the next one? Lesson 14. Here are the notes. Here's the document. Edit. All right, and here's you said, here's the biomolecule. So you can look at this and put your notebook in order. All right, and so that's what I'm trying to give you a heads up in case your notebook isn't in order. So get this up. This will count as a test grade. So make sure it's a mini test grade, but it still counts. So do that. I hope this helps. I will talk to you later. I think that's all I can give you. This again, this video is just showing how to get your notebook in order and also to um, how to take the test. Have a good one.